we have elf mail i'm so excited welcome back to the channel everyone the Sant maria here and you all today is a very exciting video because this video could not have happened if it was not for the elves what i mean by that is you all we got some elf mail and elf mail is the most exciting thing that i could ever receive because it comes from my audience my subscribers aka the elves by the way for the new subscribers in the room I call my subscribers the L's because I mean my name is Santa after all so it just kind of works so now y'all know why that is but yes today's video is brought to you courtesy of the L's and we are able to do a fragrances I am currently sampling video as a result special shout out to Elf Camille who took the time to decant all of these and send me over some amazing samples that I cannot wait to share with you all and talk about right now because I know these are some fragrances that you all would love to hear about more about as well and we're gonna have a good time but before we do that elves you know what we must do first <laughs> lipstick of the day today and this is the shade chili I saw chili has like a whole collection now at mac chili will be linked below as always but this is a classic burnt orange burnt red brick kind of a color i did put a clear gloss over it just to get a little shine but yes that is your lipstick of the day next up we have fragrance of the day and this will be significant later on you'll understand by the end of the video fragrance of the day is from bond number nine and this is nolita yes nolita I was in a springy mood with this one so i figured why not pull this out because the sun was shining so bright and this is perfect for that mood bond number nine's nolita is your fragrance of the day it'll be linked below as well so now let's get into these fragrances i'm currently sampling also i will have a bonus fragrance that i did sample unexpectedly and give you all my thoughts on it because it is a new release for 2023 and i know y'all will know about it so let's get on into it so everything arrived perfectly packaged thank you again elf camille girl you sent me this lovely bag that was packaged well individually wrapped girl the decants are giving it just wow i mean this is just amazing you ship things better than some retailers do i gotta give you your props girl i'm just saying and the cool thing about this is we have a spread of decants that range from two mil on up to 10 mil so this is amazing so now let's have some fun the first decant that we are going to play in with first sample is from parfums de marley and this is Cassili. so another backstory about these samples um they are all fragrances i mentioned in my wish list for 2023 video i linked it up top so you will notice a theme here you're like aren't these scents you've talked about that's why you've heard them before these are wish list scents so we're gonna start with parfums de marley Cassili, you all let's spray Cassili, and i will have a picture of the bottle on the side here for you all to check out okay parfums de marley Cassili. let's get into the notes oh that's really nice oh it's really really nice yes this is i remember the reason i wanted this one because it has a plum note and it's kind of fruity but officially the notes are top of red current floral notes and bulgarian rose mid is plum frangipani and mimosa and then we have patelia and then base notes are vanilla tonka bean and sandalwood so they're creamy base very much Cassili is a tropical fruity scent this will be amazing post memorial day here in the states which is usually around may 30th around that time of the year so right before you get into summer we call it the unofficial start of summer here in the united states but i like this very very nice she sent me the official sample you all thank you but yes, it's even more confirmed that I love Cassili. I think Cassili is a unsung hero because we all know when it comes to Parfums and Marley, everybody rants and raves about the Delinas. Any one of them, all three, doesn't matter. But we got to give the rest of the line some love and Cassili definitely deserves some love. This is going to be everything again come summertime. So I'm very much still wanting this scent. I'm very happy to have a sample of it to play in it some more. Parfums de Marley Cassili. The next sample we have is from the house of Nishane, you all, and this is Wulong Cha. Again, another official sample. We are here for it. I actually had a sample of Wulong Cha um, last year. I got one when I went to the Nishane counter, used it up. So I haven't been able to revisit it in a minute. So I'm happy to have a sample of it again. Let me go ahead and spray this, and then I'll read the notes for everyone. So with Wulong Cha, you all, we have notes of, let's see, we have bergamot, orange mandarin, and then we have litsa, we have nutmeg, we have oolong tea, and then we have fig and musk. 
I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. Wulan Cha smells like every four star and above hotels bath products. This is what it smells like in the spas, luxury. It's definitely a tea scent. It's very calming. I like this. This is the scent I would wear in the morning time and that's why I remember falling in love with Wulan Cha. And I, again, 2023 I'm getting this and this confirms it even more. So very happy again to sample Wulan Cha from the house of Nishane. It is still a yes to me. This next one is a scent I haven't smelled in over a year, but I still feel like I want it. But since it's been a year, we definitely need to revisit it and I'm very grateful to have this sample. We have a sample of Creed Aventus for her, you all. Let me take it out. And this is our lovely decan and she labeled it for me yay so creed aventus for her you all creed is no joke i remember creed aventus for her was really hyped in 2020 and especially 2021 here on youtube else let me know if you remember that hype and then it kind of went away I rarely see it pulled out as much it came out i think around like the mid 2000 teens somewhere in there so let's get into the notes so we have top notes of green apple bergamot lemon patchouli pink pepper and violet Middle notes are musk, rose, sandalwood, and styrax. Base notes are blackcurrant, peach, amber, lilac, and ylang, ylang, you all. And let's spray a little bit on the strip. Woo, that atomizer is serious in this one. Let me spray another one on here too. Woo. <sighs> Let me tell you something. This is definitely elevated niche. I see why people say this can lean a little masculine if you're not ready for it. But, oh, this is a ball scent. This is, it's fresh though again, cause that apple, that green apple in here is everything. Which I love a green apple note. Mmm, you still smell that musk in here. It's just fruity, but it's powerful. It's really fascinating. Hmm. Yep, I still want it. And I'm very happy I can play it a little bit more because this decan is a very nice size of Cree Aventus for her, you all. Oh wow, this is grown. This is real grown here. And I remember when I first smelled it like two or three years ago, I was like, oh wow, this is real bossed up. And I'm here for it. Cree Aventus for her, wow, I would definitely be playing in this, but wow. It's just still wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, now this next one, you all, is a very hyped up fragrance from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. In fact, this fragrance is the number one, like most hyped, most searched. If you go to like the explore page and search for it on Instagram, you're gonna see this one the most. I actually did it before I did this video. And I'm talking about none other than Tiziana Terenzi's Kirke. You all, this is a scent I sampled before last year and I was kind of like, eh, I don't know, eh, it's all right. So I'm very happy. I look at the size of this decan. Look how generous this decan is. The L's do not play. I'm just saying, Camille, girl, you showed out. But let's get into this Kirke. I'm gonna spray it. And as we know at Tiziana Terenzi, you all, they are powerhouse beasts. You don't need a lot. Okay, it's already in the air. And let me tell you, I love it. <laughs> so the notes for Kirke, you all, are we have passion fruit, peach, pear, raspberry, cassis, and sand. Middle notes of Lily of the Valley. Base note is musk, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, and heliotrope. Let me tell you something. I am in love with this even more than when I first smelled it. And to be fair, I'm smelling it in a different season than the first time I smelled it. When I originally sampled Kirk A. Tiziana Terenzi um, house, let me tell y'all something. It was during when it was hot and I honestly could go in and out of smelling it sometimes. It kind of was doing like a weird disappearing act to me. Like I had to put my nose all up on my hand, my test strip when I first smelled Kirk A. But now that I'm filming this in January and I'm smelling it in a different season, that's why I always stress. Sometimes you need to play with a scent in a different season. Go I can smell this way better. I love it now. It was a like then, but I love it now. The passion fruit. The passion fruit. The passion fruit. If you are a fruity scent lover, you need to experience Kirke for sure. That musk in here. Oh, wow. Wow. I will be emptying this whole thing. And once I use this whole decant, I will be getting a full bottle of it because I'm going to need Kirke in my life. I get the hype now. I totally get the hype. This is everything. Yes. Tiziana Terenzi's Kirke. Yes. 
so happy about it. Now the next fragrance is actually a body cream, better yet a body silk, and it's from Bond number no. nine. And I got a generous sample of Bond number no. nines. Uh, you guessed it because of the fragrance of the day. No Lita, you all. And yes, I'm wearing this on my body layered. And let me tell you all something. The body silk is just as fragrant as the perfume. For the sake of refresher, let me read the notes of No Lita for you all. So the notes are tangerine, freesia. We have lilies, rose, jasmine sandbag, soft amber, musk, and sandalwood. The tangerine note is everything. And this stuff is very, very moisturizing. It's a rich and thick whipped cream. Oh, and it smells literally just as potent as the fragrance. I can't emphasize it enough. I have been intrigued in the body silks by Bond Number no. 9, but I don't own any. And now I'm very grateful to have a sample of one. Because yeah, I'm gonna need one. The next time Bond has a sale, I'm gonna need a body silk or two or three. Mm -hmm. But this is very nice. And I just, I have to say it does prolong the scent for sure, which Nolita does very well. As you all recall, this was on one of my most complimented scents of 2022. But now to have the body silk on with it, honey. I've had this on all day and it's giving and I'm here for it. Yes, it's just, yes. The body silk is an added touch. Dare I say in 2023, I'm being converted over to body care. This is a moment hot take and y'all know I'm not a body care girl, but this body silk right here, I'm converted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no Lita by Bond number no. nine's body silk. And the last sample you all is from the house of Killian and this is Killian's Woman in Gold, you all. Let's get into Woman in Gold because I had a sample of Woman in Gold, y'all, over a year ago. And we really do actually need to get reacquainted just to make sure I'm still in love, you know. So Woman in Gold by Killian, we have notes of bergamot, mandarin orange, aldehydes. Then we have middle notes of vanilla absolute, rose, geranium, and freesia. Then base notes are vanilla, cagalia wood, tonka bean, and patchouli. I remember this being very tonka bean and vanilla forward over fragrance when I did sample it, but I'm grateful to have a bigger sample this time around. And yeah, let's get on into it, y'all. You're hearing this now, y'all. When it comes to women's fragrances from Killian, hands down, this is what I remember about Woman in Gold. I just got reminded. This is absolutely one of the strongest scents they make in the women's lines from Killian. So if you were thinking like, oh, love don't be shy, it's too soft, good girl gone bad, any of the other lady scents, and this one is powerful. That tonka bean in here is so prominent. It's fresh though at the same time, but it's still creamy because it has that middle of the vanilla base. Mmm. And people sleep on woman in gold, but this is, wow. Slept on, Killian fragrance. Love don't be shy, all that, that's cute. But no, more people need to be talking about woman in gold. This is fabulous. Cause it's fresh, floral, but still has some creaminess to it. This is amazing. This is what niche is about right here. We got a lot going on, there's different layers to it, and it just takes you on a journey. That is what this is giving. Killian's woman in gold is absolutely yes. The last fragrance is a bit impromptu because I did go in store and I was walking around shopping and they had a tester of this brand new fragrance out and that is the new replica Mason Margiela line. This is the on the date fragrance on a date you all. I smelled it and I've heard a lot of like interesting reviews on it, but I want to smell it for myself and let me tell y'all something. I like this. I like it. It is a more mature scent. It does have a more vintage feel about it, but for that reason, it is very romantic. It, it smells very old Hollywood to me in a bottle, and I'm here for it. Top notes are black currant syrup, pink pepper, and bergamot. Middle notes are rose, divana, geranium. Base notes are moss, patchouli, vetiver, and musk. The patchouli is definitely in here. That's what gives it an old school feel. I like it. I like it. It literally smells like romance. It smells like an old Hollywood romance movie. That's literally what it smells like. So I think Mason Margiela replica line, they nailed this and I'm very impressed with it. I like it. It's approved. <laughs> so all right, elves, that wraps up this edition of fragrances I'm currently sampling. Thanks to Elf Mail again, special shout out. And thank you to Elf Camille for sending these samples over to me for me to play in, especially as I work my way through my wish list by having these lovely size decants that helps me save some money in the meantime, but I'm still able to get the effect and get the love and get to the smell these. I'm just so excited. But girl, this Kirk K I'm so glad you sent me a lot of this one because Kirk K is 
yes <laughs> i might end up wearing this for valentine's day does it's giving that kind of energy and i'm here for it so as always else if you're here for me subscribe to the channel if you're here for the content hit that thumbs up button if you're not here for any of these that is okay we're just planting some fragrances why not we like to smell good here but until next time else i will catch you on the next video bye y'all